And this is Danielle, and she is pouring the <laughs> albuterol into the inhaler. Here's Barbara and Rupert. Rupert's getting his first nebulizer treatment for what we suspect might be asthma. There's the compressor. Good boy. Oh, wow, look at that. Nice. This is getting right at those little nostrils. <laughs> Don't inhale too much, Barbara. Oh, I'm fine. So what's coming out the other end, the steam? Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should have put some ferritone on the end of it. Do you want me to? I don't know. Is this something that I'm Mike leaving will... with you. I'm leaving this with you. Okay, so Mike doesn't have to put his mouth to that. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go get some uh, pickle juice. Ruby! Sit down. You want to sit down? Sure. <laughs> He's like, oh, no, that didn't help. He's like, mm, oh, <laughs> but that's okay. I don't think he needs a whole lot. We're trying to entice him with pickle juice. <laughs> and he seems to be going for it. Does the uh, albuterol seem to be getting pretty close to his? It's all going up his nose and in his mouth every time he opens his mouth. So. Oh, good. How long do you know to do it? Like, when you know it's out? The medicine in the bottom runs out. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, well. There's Ruby getting his treatment. This is kind of just a trial run. Um, his x-rays came back with a lot of spotting on his lungs that looked like asthma or a bronchial infection, but we've had him on Clavamox for almost three weeks and it's had no impact on his coughing. And so that's why we were proceeding with the nebulizer treatment. And uh, she wants us to give it to him in the morning and the evening and so we're getting a prescription for it and we'll do it twice a day for a week or so and see if he shows some improvement make sure he doesn't have any negative side effects mm -hmm. but face it. <laughs> so we will keep you posted good boy, boy. ruby doing it on a day Juice on Danielle's hands. <laughs> pickle juice uh, for ferrets is not actual pickle juice. It's a product <laughs> made by Susan Jones, and it's a combination of healthy uh, animal-based oils for, I think it's probably has omega-3s and all that good stuff. I'm not sure offhand, but it's a good, good combination of stuff. Supports the shelter, and uh, it's good for ferrets, and we love it. We'll be in touch.